Guys, <clears throat> let's look at housefly now. It is a very familiar uh, common insect, right, which lives very close to man. So, they occur in abundance, right? You have seen them a lot, hopefully. Um, have you? Okay. So, basically, uh, these are, uh, they don't bite actually. And uh, they are actually, if they are there, then you can know that there is some insanitation. Okay. So, basically, they will, uh, if you see a fly, it means to say somewhere there is some insanitation around you. Okay. So, what are the general characters of these house flies so basically it is called as musca domestica a very common uh, important uh, member is musca domestica okay musca domestica so basically what are the general characters characters of um, uh, this common house fly it is a mouse gray mouse gray colored uh, house fly this one okay the body is divided into head thorax abdomen so you need to know these parts so basically look at the parts of its mouth so basically first of all you divide the body into three parts okay there's a head okay the head then you have the thorax and the abdomen okay so we will talk about this is only the mouth parts okay this is only the mouth parts in this cut here these are only the mouth parts they're showing here so you have the head then you have the thorax and then you have the abdomen okay so basically <clears throat> what will be there in the head so head will have the mouth right so the head will have the antenna okay a pair of antenna compound eyes so you can see compound eyes here right the eyes of the male are close together than those of female female wide apart the eyes are okay it's a compound eye and then you have a proboscis. So, have they shown the proboscis here? Let us look at the next diagram. Proboscis. So, in this actually the proboscis is retractile. Okay. So, it can retract the proboscis. So, what is the proboscis guys? So, it is used to suck liquid foods. So, it will have that pointed structure from which it can suck the liquid foods. Right. Then now coming to the thorax. The thorax is marked with two to four dark longitudinal stripes so you should have two to four dark longitudinal stripes <clears throat> so longitudinal stripes you can see the longitudinal stripes here right so here you can see the longitudinal stripes this will be the thorax right this will be a characteristics of this genus Mu Musca, Musca domestica, right? So, this is the characteristics of this genus. The thorax bears a pair of wings. So, you can see the wings also here, right? And uh, three pairs of legs are there. So, it's pretty clear, right? The thorax has what? Longitudinal stripes, a pair of wings. And how many legs? Three pairs. One pair, two pair and three pair of legs, okay? So, the leg is having pads which enable them to fly walk anything okay so they can they can fly to walk on highly polished surfaces so the leg will have pads okay they'll have a pair of pads let's look at that if it's clear in this diagram so the leg will have pads they are seeing so the legs and the body are having short stiff hair okay they'll have hair these are called tenant hair tenant hair so what are they called as tenant hair will be there so you can see the hair is shown here so these are what tenant hair they'll have what on the thorax they'll have tenant hair right so they'll help um, they secrete a sticky su substance okay these hair now coming to the abdomen abdomen is segmented it shows light and dark marking so you can see the abdomen here it is segmented it shows light and dark markings okay so the three parts are head thorax and abdomen okay now coming to the life history of uh, housefly life history means you can say life cycle so basically you can see them here the egg stage the larva the pupa and the adult the egg okay so this is called as metamorphosis right the housefly undergoes a complete metamorphosis which has four stages egg larva larva is also called as maggot you have the pupa and the adult now, what is there with the egg? The egg is, um, the female will lay about 120 to 150 eggs. 
120 to 150 eggs in single sitting in a in one sitting so it will uh, any uh, moist decaying organic matter like human excreta animal excreta manure garbage vegetable refuse on that and all it will go and lay the eggs okay so these eggs will be some pearly white and all if you want you can remember all this information then coming to the larva so basically the larva or maggots they measure one to two millimeter length okay uh, at birth they will be white segmented footless obviously they are larva they don't have foot right they eat voraciously they have a narrow anterior and a broad posterior so this is anterior is it okay so this is narrow anterior so i would have thought that that is the posterior okay it is narrow anterior okay this is the anterior it is narrow and broad posterior that's what the textbook says the they eat voraciously they mount twice the fully grown larva can be a one uh, 12 millimeter in length okay so these uh, they don't like light these larva what they will do they will burrow themselves okay they will burrow themselves where in the manure and all that okay then um, they will pupate okay they will pupate they will migrate to dry outer regions they will come to the dry outer regions who the pupa right and uh, <clears throat> you should understand that uh, the pupa are dark brown barrel shaped they measure about a quarter of an inch okay quarter of an inch okay so basically this stage will be there from four, three to six days it will be there this stage then adult coming to adult the complete life cycle from egg to adult will take about five to six days so it takes five to six days to become an adult okay these uh, live for how long they live for 15 days in summer and in winter they can live longer so how much does an adult live an adult fly lives only for 15 days interesting now let us look at the habits of a house fly habits of housefly so basically breeding habits there are some breeding habits feeding habits restlessness vomit drop defecation resting habits dispersal so this is what they are explaining the habits under so just try to understand this the habits of uh, housefly so the breeding places are where manure excreta then garbage dry decaying fruits vegetables all those you can tell okay now feeding what do they eat these they don't bite us right so it is attracted to our food but right it cannot eat solid foods so what it does it vomits on the, our food if you have kept something and a fly is sitting on it it is actually vomiting on the food it will dissolve with that food and then it will be sucking it up okay so that's very gross right so what it is doing it's vomiting on solid food dissolving it and then sucking it okay so they they like even sputum they like uh, feces discharges from wounds whatever pus etc they like all that yuck it is yeah now coming to the restlessness these are very restless insects they will keep moving back and forth between food and filth from food they'll go to filth from filth they'll come to food so this is how they spread the infection now what is the vomit drop we told you that these vomit frequently so that is why it is going to spread these diseases it vomits also to dissolve the solid food remember defecation it defecates also during the day so it's vomiting defecating picking up the food so it is it is kind of doing everything simultaneously looks like right so it is going to deposit the bacteria on your food also so now i think you're going to run away and uh, from this video also go cover the food and everything okay then uh, resting habits so basically what are the resting habits so here they said it's restless now they are trying to say a resting habit so it is restless now it's trying to rest okay where is it trying to rest it's resting on vertical surfaces and hanging objects interesting so it is resting on vertical surfaces okay and even anything that is hanging so hanging will be vertical only dispersal norm uh, normally these house flies they will remain close to breeding places okay but they can go up to four miles they can disperse okay so that is about habits of house fly so these house flies how do they transmit disease they are mechanical vectors right they are mechanical vectors so they are not actually the um, uh, helping any 
disease causative agent it doesn't undergo any cycle within these this is just a mechanical vector so there is mechanical transmission that's how they transmit disease Tran mechanical mechanical transmission they do and you know that vomit drop right that also will spread diseases then defecation also they will do and they will spread diseases so how will you do some control measures for these uh, house flies so there are a lot of control measures we're not going into detail so basically sanitation right the, uh, the, all these standard things you will say environmental control garbage how you will dif uh, you will dispose all that right then uh, uh, sanitary system etc should be there insecticides you can use right like residual sprays right so basically we are talking about control here environment control we told you how you will clean everything keep everything clean environmental control then insect insecticidal so we spoke about residual sprays baits you can put baits right for these uh, insects cords ribbons some of these are actually gross we are not going to the details but you can have a lot of space sprays residual sprays larvae sites right then there is something called as fly papers you can if you have heard of those fly papers right some of them might seem very inhuman actually so they will uh, put resin castor oil right and uh, they will put it on a paper and they will put adhesive so when these uh, insects come they cannot fly so some reduction of flies will happen there protection against flies so you will protect yourself against flies right so you will put mesh for your house windows and all that then health education standard things you will write for uh, control right just now you whatever you are watching this video that only is health education so now let us take a recap of housefly guys we are done with housefly actually we have to look at a lot of things in housefly we have to also look at uh, we have to look at the wings mouth parts everything just hold on we will come to that so what we are seeing in this mouth parts okay let's look off at mouth parts wait so mouth parts look at the mouth parts so basically mouth parts are of sponging type and are used for sucking liquid food the mouth part includes long proboscis tube so are you able to see any long proboscis tube here so here at least what we can spot we'll see compound i is there here so there should be a proboscis which has so the mouth parts include a long proboscis tube made up of labrum epipharynx hypopharynx labium and a pair of unjointed maxillary palps on sides of proboscis are you seeing all that here look at this diagram hopefully this will explain better so we are trying to look for epipharynx hypopharynx labium labium okay so we are looking for epipharynx hypopharynx so this entire thing they are saying is proboscis tube okay so there is a epipharynx shown here right epipharynx hypopharynx can be spotted unjointed unjointed maxillary palps so you can see here maxillary palps which are unjointed maxillary palps on sides of proboscis okay so guys did you understand this proboscis see it is coming out of this body okay out of the body so look at this so this is the compound eyes and this will be the proboscis here you are showing the labium you are showing the maxillary palps you can see the house fly use this proboscis can you see in this photo so you can see the house fly use the proboscis okay at least now in the bigger picture you have understood the proboscis right so the maxillary palps unjointed you have the epipharynx and the hypopharynx right so you have the epipharynx and then you have the hypopharynx right then you have what they have called as the labellum okay haustellum so you have terminally you have the haustellum and the rostrum so rostrum you have here haustellum labellum okay so what diseases do you think a housefly will transmit a housefly transmits diseases like typhoid cholera 
only mechanical transmutation it does actually house fly cholera right yours they are saying the maggots can cause my asses my e asses my e asses spread by the lava okay so you can see here the house fly kept as a spotter the mouth parts kept as a spotter for us so here you can see the maxillary palps what do you say right what do you think this is the wing house fly it's attached to what the thorax so for now this much is enough about house fly or musca domestica you saw the general characters you saw that they have tenant hair they have wings a pair of wings and three pairs of legs proboscis which is retractable right then you saw that in the life cycle you saw eggs larva pupa adult then the diseases which are caused by house fly typhoid cholera etc right then we saw the mouth parts in detail remember rostrum hostelin all that the habits you saw breeding habits feeding habits restlessness vomit drop defecation resting habits dispersal up to 4 miles right that's what we saw even beyond that okay transmission mechanical transmission vomit drop defecation how will you control house fly all that is important for community medicine that's all for now in house fly see you bye bye